Here with Luke Rogan. Um, Luke, uh, this is your first uh, win in the Hobie Kayak Series. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I've been close, but just no, no cigar, really. <laughs> um, where are you from? I'm from Brisbane. Um, where's your local fishing area that you like fishing? Oh, in the bay, mate. Just, just all of the bay, just the islands, just cranking the islands and oh, canals as well. I fish, a lot of, I fish a lot in Raby Bay canals, which is why I think I did pretty well. You know, it's very similar, you know, canal system, pontoons, plastics, cranking hard bodies. Um, do you fish the Bay Islands in a kayak? No. No, I've got a boat as well. Um, it's a little far. <laughs> oh, some of them I do, but look, if there was a, maybe if there was a comp held in there, I'd, I'd use my kayak more often. So what do you think of this uh, venue of Malula Bar? Is it something you fish a lot or not? No, I, I, honestly, I probably come here uh, once a year. If anything, I come here with the, my kids just to go to the um, underwater world. So, um, yeah, and when the comp's on. Um, obviously, you say you fished Raby Bay. This is a similar venue fishing-wise to Raby Bay? Uh, well, Raby Bay, is, Raby Bay is just a big canal system, um, like just in uh, Morton Bay. So there's some big fish in there. So yeah. And they're finicky, aren't they? Yeah, they're very finicky. So I've, I've learned to tune to, you know, to, to be able to catch them, I guess. So um, yeah, there's no point in going in there and not catching fish so you got to get better at it I guess. Um, this was a tournament of two different days obviously it was uh, pouring rain yesterday and then uh, beautiful and sunny today uh, how did the fishing differ between the two days? Well yesterday I think the, the rain because we you know there wasn't there was a lot of rain and it rained all day but it it, it I don't know it dirtied the water up a little bit but it turned them on they, yeah. the bite was just I probably caught like I said I, I caught 50 fish yesterday all legal but um and I could only get a couple that were big enough so I just kept upgrading and upgrading um, today, I just went and found the clean water. As soon as I found the clean water, it was the complete opposite. Gone from finding the dirty water to the clean water, and that's what did the trick today, I think. That's how you win a tournament, is I suppose you adapt. When things change, you assume that the fishing changes as well. So you did that better than anyone else this weekend. Um, so what was your uh, plan of attack for this venue? Well, my plan of attack was originally just to fish the canals, just around the Newport canals, just around the corner. Um, I was just going to move around and find the water because I knew it was going to rain. So I just wanted, I was originally just going to find the current, stay in the current where the cleaner water is, um, just persist, which is what I did and it paid off. So, um, so what was the gun lure for the weekend? Tell us all about it. Oh, this is a zip bait, cams and tiny. Um, yep. Look, I've been using these for well, six months now and they've, they've been doing really well for me in other tournaments as well as not, not only just the kayak fishing tournaments. Um, and that's the colour? This colour, oh, there's, there's, a, there's a whole range of colours, but this is the particular colour I use this weekend. Yep. Finally enough, you know. Oh, yesterday I was using a different one. I was using a marshmallow colour. Um, that's just in the dirty water, I guess. Yep. Um, but I think I was just, I just, it was just reaction bites. Yep. And so what do you, th what's, what do you think it is about the, that zip bait which uh, triggers the bite? Apart from that, any other that you can buy in the shop? Well, I don't know, it's just the profile maybe. The colours are good, the profile's good. Um, it's a well-made, very well-made um, lure, and they've got cast control in them too, so they just cast dead accurate. And I'm not a bad caster already, so it just makes me <laughs> even better, you know. So um, other than that, they're, they're just a, they're really good lure, and I, um, I can just get them right in under the pontoons. Fantastic. Um, what about the rest of the outfit you were using? I see you using a Loomis rod and a Steez reel there. Just run us through the outfit. Yep. Yeah, I've got a um, 2508 uh, Steez reel with six pound straight through on it. Um, I'm just trying to think that it's a Unitika silver thread, six yep. pound. Yep. Um, this has been my go-to straight through lately. Yep. And I've got a um, G Loomis GLXR. It's a drop shot. Um, I'm not sure what weight this one is. It looks like it's uh, caught plenty of fish. Yeah, this is my four eight. I've actually had this rod for about ten years, and I even went out and spent more than the rod was worth on the guide. So <laughs> it's a good rod. But as you can see from yesterday, the the water just got in there and. Yep. Um, six pounds quite heavy for people fishing straight through. Uh, you don't, it's not hard to cast. No, well, with any other lure, yeah. But these the cast control on them is awesome, mate. Eh? Yeah. You just cast like little bullets. Exactly, just like little bullets that are dead accurate, and you just get them where you want, I guess. And um, I just I've, I've gone straight to six pound because I've, I was using two pound, and the three pound, four pound, five pound, even you know, and I was just losing way too many big fish. Like yep. I was, I've in the last six months I've been probably getting. Oh, like, you know, look, look at the fish I got yesterday and the fish I got today, I can't really You're landing the big fish now. Exactly, like, yeah. and everybody's telling me that they dropped them and busted off, and I'm like, well, I caught everything I hooked, yeah. except for yesterday on two pound.
but I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> um, can you break down the specific retrieve for that lure? Um, well, it's just a slow, slow wind really. Just yep. rod tip right in hard against the pontoon as close as I can get it, and just slow wind it out. Yep. What happens when you get a bite? I just pause it. And then twitch, keep twitching, and as I twitch, they usually, like I said, you make them aggressive, and they just eat it. Sometimes yep. you'll, I'll, I'll get it right out to the edge, and they'll even come. It'll come out a meter, and I'll be like, oh, there's a fish, and I'll just pause it there, and I'll just eat it. Yep. Straight off. The so does that lure suspend in? Yeah, it's, it does suspend. So that's what happens, you know. So it'll come out from underneath the pontoon, and it'll, um, it'll just suspend there. So I'll just pause it there before I pull it away to, to cast yep. again, and. Probably 70% of the time, fish will eat it while it's just sitting there pausing, like, you know, just ditched out from the pontoon, so. Um, how does it feel to have qualified for the grand final? You said you've got a bit of a clash of trips there. Yeah, I do. I'm going to have to talk to my mates and see if I can get out of the... I've got a weeper trip coming up. I do every year. Um, yep. I made it to the grand final last year too, but I couldn't go because of the weeper trip. So, I yeah. probably should have because it's my old stomping grounds, so... Yeah, have you got experience in WA? Oh, no. Well, I'm from Melbourne originally, yep. so... You know, Blackbird. Blackbird. And it's canals, manger has got a lot of canals there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I've never been there, and it's one of them things, you know, like brim fishing, you'd never really hear much about WA, but it'll be different, I guess. Oh, yeah. No, there's some big ones over there, don't you worry? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hopefully. Yeah, congratulations uh, on winning your first event. You got a good payday, a nice prize pack, and it uh, must have been good to prevail in such difficult conditions. Yeah, it was. Well, I picked up on Friday afternoon, I picked up my new kayak because I cracked my old one from Mel. Um, look, it... He looked after me, what can I say? Came with Mojo, so... So, Tyson. So close yet so far. At this uh, final weigh-in, you thought that uh, you might have had enough to beat it, and you fell how many grams short? Uh, five grams. Five grams is one teaspoon full of water, you know that? <laughs> so maybe if you walk faster between the uh, bump tub and the scales, you might have gone over. Um, obviously, you had a you had a good average size fish in the in the bag today, and you had, you did better than everyone else except one person at this tournament. What were your techniques for this weekend? Uh, just uh, using hard bodies up first, getting small fish, getting my bag, then going to the new uh, crusty Z-mans. Yep. Uh, what what jig head did you use that on? I was using a one sixteenth around the trawls and and uh, hidden weights. Um, what hard body were you using? Uh, just an atomic shad. Yep, forty mil. What colour? Uh, Ghost Girl Brown. Ghost Girl Brown's pretty popular up this neck of the woods, isn't it? Yep. Um, what sort of uh, outfit did you fish the uh, the crusties on? That's obviously a bait which I think is not released on the market yet. Uh, not yet, no. Yeah, so they go alright? Yeah, really good. Um, you have to use it on one of the headlocks jig heads to keep it on? Uh, no, I just use the normal hidden weights. Yep. That was, seemed to be going good. And what, uh, what technique did you use? You threw it in next to the trawler and then what happened? Uh, threw it in next to the trawler and just fast twitches. Really small sharp hops. Um, what outfit did you fish it on? Uh, fishing with a uh, Wands Rod, Brim Special, and uh, Dial Alluvius. What sort of line on it? Uh, it's 10 pound PE braid, and just with a uh, 6 pound litre. Did you have any uh, fish that towed you home today that might have made a difference? Yeah, had one at the end, uh, on the end trawler, and hooked it. It's gone under the boat, and Boat Wakes just came over and stuffed it for me. Really? So it's well, probably only like a thousand dollar fish, it's alright. Yeah. Um, qualified for the grand final, uh, you going to head across? Yeah, I'll head across. Um, in the arena that the fishing for the grand final, there are some canals over there. Would you go alright in a canal, wouldn't you, being a Queensland guy? Oh uh, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Hopefully. Have, have you caught uh, black brim before? No, never. Really? They're just like a yellowfin, except you've just got to pause your lure a bit more. But I caught Triple Donut in last year's grand final, so don't listen to me. <laughs> um, and any sponsors you'd like to thank? Uh, yeah, TTs, uh, especially. They help out heaps, and just Sun State Hobie, just for running. Very good. All right, well done, and we'll see you at the grand final.